Hey guys, OneClo here. I hope all of you are doing well and having a really great day. In today's video, I want to take a look with you in the new Helium app and how you can use it and how you can actually stake your HMT and delegate it to IoT or mobile. So let's get started. <music> As you can see, I'm currently in my private wallet. And the first thing we need to do is we need to go into our settings, scroll all the way down and check that we are in the Solana network mainnet. If you find yourself in the dev net, change this to the mainnet and reload the app afterwards. So what we have inside here is that we can see our h and that got uh, or migrated over from the Helium blockchain and we also have now the iot token we can take a look in there it says it's currently in genesis but uh, they will get more as soon as you have a couple of hotspots online and they are earning rewards when it comes to hotspots how are we actually getting the rewards of our hotspot therefore we can take a look on the diamond and as you can see there's currently one hotspot listed from me and it says it has mined so far 197 IoT tokens. If we try to refresh this page, this number should increase. I'm not sure. Yeah, as you can see, it increased. And that's something you should do as well. If you go over to this tab in the app and you see that you have zero IoT rewards, but your hotspots are online and actually doing something, just refresh it. So scroll from up to down and it should refresh. And what you can do then is either you click on claim all rewards or if you have multiple hotspots like I do in another wallet, you can actually go in a hotspot and click on claim rewards. Therefore, you can simply click on it and add to account. This would take a second, but uh, the IoT reward tokens now get transferred over to my account. It's claiming your rewards and in here it probably takes like 10 seconds or something like this. It always depends on uh, what the current state of the blockchain is and how the RPCs are working. I noticed that they are from time to time a little bit slow, but uh, as you can see, my rewards got claimed. So let's go back. And as you can see now in the overview, I should have a little bit more over here. If we try to refresh this it should show the, the current amount that you have earned in there. But yeah, when it comes to things like you want to share your account, you can go over to the settings and you can share the address. And in here, you can either share your private Helium, uh, your, your Helium wallet or your Solana wallet. If you want to receive a uh, sole token or HT or IoT or mobile token, you need to share this Solana address and not the Helium address. So far, so good. If it comes to actually staking your token, what you need is you need to send yourself a couple of Solana token. If you stake and delegate on the Solana blockchain, you need roughly 0.02 sole token to do so. I sent myself 0.1 uh, Solana token. And as you can see, I currently have uh, 0.065 Sol token. So I staked two times so far. And yeah, it, it took 0.02 Sol token per staking. How this is gonna work is pretty simple. You go over to this globe over here on the right side. And currently for whatever reason, it is saying DevNet up here. But don't be bothered about it as soon as you click on the realms helium vote today um, we should be in the correct overview and in here you get a drop down menu that you can click and it should be on the helium if you don't see helium in here you can simply reload the app and i should be connected i click on connect up here and now connect on this one and now I should be connected. And let's see. Yeah, there we can see I have locked Helium 2 so far. We can take a look on our governance power. If you click on view, this should reload. And this is basically the tab you need to 
log your token and delegate them to your ASAP DAO. So we have our address over here. I can also see my locked position. So I have one position that is locked in constant and one position that is has a lockup type of cliff. So the difference between this is pretty simple. You can imagine this as if you try to stake something with cliff, the timer and the decrease, the, the linear decrease of your voting multiplier starts instantly. But if you choose the constant lockup type, your vote, your vote multiplier stays the same until you start to undelegate it or uh, un until you start to uh, unstake it. And then your duration, your lockup duration starts. So let's take a look on how we can actually lock tokens. Therefore, we click on lock tokens. And now, as I told you, we have the option either we choose cliff or we choose constant. In this example, I will choose cliff and I will put in one HNT here and we choose a lockup period of two years. And as you can see, I have a vote rate multiplier of 50. So now I can actually go ahead and lock those tokens. Maybe I do a little bit more. Let's see, I can put in five and I can lock those tokens. Now it asks me estimated changes, approve it, and it's locking it. If you find yourself that you get an error down here and the transaction is not going through, this is due to the fact that you don't have enough Solana on your wallet. So send a couple of Solana over there and then you're good to go and you can actually stake your HNT token. So if we take a look here, we should have, yeah, we have here the new position. And as you can see, I staked five HNT. I got a vote multiplier of 50. I have the lockup type of cliff and I got the land rush bonus. The land rush bonus is something that you only get if you stake in the next couple of days. Um, I think there are only six days or five days left. After that, you won't get this multiplier. It's basically a multiplier, a multiplier of three that you get a little bit more voting power. So what I can do now to actually earn rewards, because just the staking won't earn you any rewards, is I can delegate my stake to a specific pool. In this case, I choose the Helium IoT and I can delegate the tokens over there. I need to approve this. And now it's delegating to the IoT sub -DAO. And now I earn IoT tokens on, on the stake. It's pretty nice. And if you remember from the beginning, I told you that I have 0.06 Solana token in my wallet. If we take a look now, I have 0.04 Solana token in here. So it takes roughly 25 cents per transaction to stake something actually. I hope you find this video interesting. And if you do so, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you stay tuned for further videos. Thanks for watching.